BMES or the Biomedical Engineering Society is a the biggest bioengineering org on campus. And our main mission is really to be a resource and a community for anyone who is not just in the major, but also interested in the field itself. Um, and the reason we structure our message like that is because bioengineering is in the end is an incredibly broad field. Um, we have bioengineering professors who are a lot more like biologists, um, but we also have bioengineering professors who are like mechanical engineers, they're like electrical engineers. Um, and we basically stem a huge range of different sciences and engineering topics. Um, and so as part of that, we want to, first of all, clarify what is bioengineering, um, which we kind of define as just any, any, anything, any solution uh, or finding a solution for human problems, um, whether that's health or um, even small ones. And then from there, we provide the skills that you might need, um, some of the connections you might want um, to help you get through um, to find opportunities. And then just like a place to hang out with people who have similar minds as you do. Um, and those in general are the big categories of what BMES does. Um, and so in order to do that, we, we break down our organization into a s different committees. Um, each committee is in charge of a different event or a different um, sort of mission. So we have our three big event committees, which are um, Lab Expo, which is a research conference, um, Translational Medicine Day, which is focused on the field of translational medicine, and then Bioengineering Day, which is uh, we've already talked about our previous bioengineering event. Um, and then we have an outreach program, which it goes out to K through 12 schools, and they try to teach um, students about science and engineering. And then our project team, which has sort of two missions. One is to teach the technical skills that you might need in your labs, or if you're just interested in anything else in bioengineering, as well as um, sort of connect our students our members with labs who are looking for um, volunteers or student researchers. Um, and then we also have a social aspect, which is uh, we, we have a mentor-mentee mentor um, pairing. Um, so first and second years get paired with third and fourth years and sort of uh, we, we guide them through um, the field, like what, what we to expect during bioengineering. Yeah, so we have anywhere between 100 to 150 per year. Um, and I think we've gotten up to 200 once, um, but that was an especially large year. Uh, I think this year we have about 110 to 120, um, and it grows throughout the year as well. So the best, the, the easiest way to do that is to um, go onto our website, which is, if you just Google UCSD BMES, um, You'll, it'll take you to a website called bmes.ucsd.edu. Um, and basically that is our website where we talk about all our events that are happening. Um, we have a lot of our information, uh, and like official information on there, but most importantly, we have a lot of our contact information. Um, so our officer board is 20 people strong um, and they are in charge of all different aspects of BMES. Um, but they also all have, um, they come from different backgrounds. We have some, we have a lot of bioengineers, but we also have a nano engineer. We have um, a structural engineer in our board. Um, and each of them are different kinds of bioengineering and do, do different things. And so if you're ever interested in um, a particular topic, um, they could send an email to any of our officers and they'd be very willing to reply. Um, however, if you, so that's kind of the easiest way, but the, I honestly think the best way is to get involved in our Facebook page. Um, we've actually had a couple of um, high schools already reach out to us uh, trying, trying to join our uh, Facebook page, which is uh, UCSD BMES. Um, if you search that on Facebook, you should find it pretty easily. Um, and basically our Facebook page is, while, while our website is a lot more about official documents, um, official descriptions, our Facebook page is where things actually happen. It's where we post our updates almost weekly or daily. Um, we This coming quarter, we're gonna really focus on posting all our virtual um, events or virtual activities on there so that people can access that very easily. Um, and then if people have any questions, they can either email me, um, which 
my email is also on that contact page that we were talking about um, for our BMES website uh, or any of our e-board, and we would all very be happy to um, answer any questions. Uh, again, we, we are very happy to, especially people are considering to join UCSD Bioengineering or are just interested in learning more about bioengineering, um, please join our Facebook group. Um, we are going to try to post as much content on there as we can, um, focused on teaching new skills, um, and hopefully everything, it'll just be an experience of learning that you can do from um, just your bedroom. So um, that's what we, that's kind of our announcement for this coming quarter. Yeah, so I definitely, when I came into school, not have the right reasoning, I would say. Um, I came into UCSD Bioengineering thinking, um, I like bio, but I also like to make money, so let's slap an engineering on there. Um, and that was that was not the best reason, um, partially because it kind of ignores like all the, all the years that you need to do bioengineering um, before you like make that quote unquote money. Um, but now, I my biggest advice is that bioengineering is such a broad and flexible field that. Almost everyone who comes here, um, first of all, you have to work really hard to be in bioengineering. Um, it is a challenge sometimes, and, um, but it can be a very fun challenge, especially if you have friends to sort of guide you through the way. Um, but also there's there's so many things and so many opportunities here on UCSD campus. Um, the field is broad again. Um, and in to do bioengineering, you can always find something that you are incredibly interested in. You can always find your niche within it and um, sort of pursue that. Or if you don't like having a niche, you can choose to do many different things, which is kind of the path I've taken, um, which is I like to jump from interest to interest and sort of discover what you really like. Um, so if you're up for a challenge, and, but you still um, want to explore, bioengineering is definitely the field for you. And in the end, it's a really good mission because um, all, your, all your research is focused on human health and making lives of humans better.